It means uh, they won't only be behind the glass. They will have the opportunity to roam the stations where they are assigned, really anywhere from the turnstiles to the platforms to the passageways, wherever they feel they are needed. They will have mobile devices uh, and offer directions and real-time instructions as far as the scheduling of trains and possible delays and reroutes, things like that. These MTA workers, as I said, will be able to apply for the positions, and it will mean at least a dollar more an hour. There will be two shifts, two eight-hour shifts, one in the a.m., one in the p.m. It's a pilot program, part of an agreement between the MTA and the union representing workers. A number of station agents and uh, platform controllers will not be reduced, according to the MTA. And we spoke with people this morning about this, and we're getting a mixed reaction. I think it's just a waste of time. They should be in the booth. Why? Because it's direction, it's maps, it's Google, it's everything. We don't need no assistance. I think it's a good idea. I guess it'll be good. A lot of people ask for directions. I send them over there to the M Transit Police Department for directions. I don't know how to get around half the time myself. The MTA says it's prioritizing stations based on ridership, transfers, tourist use, and nearby major destinations. Here's the list, Union Square, Grand Central, Times Square, Penn Station, that's 8th and 7th Avenues, Atlantic Avenue, Barclays Center, Main Street, Flushing, and 149th Street, Grand Concourse. So it's a pilot program, seven stations for now. It will be rolled out over the next several weeks and more than 300 of these uh, booth operators will be able to apply for this position.